Patsy and I'm back with a brand new series on the channel which is the seven toddlers at Hogwarts challenge. So I added on the at Hogwarts, it wasn't originally that, it was just a seven toddler challenge but I thought why not mix it up a bit, do it in the biggest build I've ever created and it's gonna make it just so much more difficult and it really is. It took me like hours to even load this save. So <laughs> this challenge was not made by me whatsoever. I was incredibly inspired by the series that I saw The Sims Fly doing, aka James Turner. So his links will be in the description below. I believe that he made up the challenge in the first place. He's always making up stuff like that. I found it super creative so I thought I would have a go myself. The aim of the challenge is to get seven toddlers perfectly aged up and I've put them on a normal lifespan so we're gonna see how it goes. Hopefully pretty well, but actually it probably won't. I'll probably get the social services involved. I'm not the best person to do anything like this. Moving on to the first character, Bag Lid Nanny. So <laughs> bear in mind, he is supposed to be inspired off Hagrid. Bear with me because I didn't change his name to Baglid. However, we're going to refer to him as Baglid. He is good, cheerful, family orientated and domestic. He's got no career, he's got no skills and he's a pretty plain sim to begin with, but we're going to work with things. He's probably not going to be our main focus. He's just going to be helping the little toddlers around, but hey, he's going to be a pretty important character because we need him. Moving on to the first toddler, which is Gary Trotter. So Gary Trotter has already got some skills, which is really weird. So it turns out he's got a communication skill, level two in imagination and one in movement. How does that work though? I swear, I have just loaded this file, I don't know. So Gary Trotter's best friend who has this forever changing hair, he used to have ginger hair, but now he has red hair. Tell me why, tell me why that happens though. So Tom Sneasley is a silly sim, that's the trait that he has. He has skills in communication, imagination, <laughs> movement and thinking. How? How has this happened though? Going on to Bryony Stranger, who has a little bit of rivalry with Tom Sneasley, I think. But she is an inquisitive sim and her skills are in communication, imagination and movement. She's nearly at level two in movement. That's fantastic because then she can climb stairs by herself. And that was a massive concern for everybody with Hogwarts. Going on to my personal favourite, which is Faco Talfoy. He is a fussy sim and he has one movement skill. So he's also quite a slow learner, apparently. Then again though, they've only spent like at least a couple of seconds here. So, <laughs> well, there you go. He, uh, he just hasn't picked up things as fast as the others. Another one of my favorites is Groaning Turtle. She is a clingy sim and her skills are in communication, movement and thinking. Going on to Grobby, he is a little elf. I think that I actually called him Bobby, but I like to call him Grobby just because it's so cute. And he's a wild sim. He has skills in communication, movement, and thinking. And the last sim is Bevel Roncosson. He is also clingy, just like Groaning Turtle. And his skills are in communication and movement. So they're all pretty much level one in all of them, but I think it's still pretty interesting. Okay, so we're now on live mode and the real aim here, I think the first thing that we really need to do is to get their movement skills up. So to get them to level two, I've put loads of these things in here. I know that the fastest way to learn the movement skill is through the iPad, but I don't really want any technology here because it wouldn't really make sense. So we're gonna be finding that a lot of them are coming in here, especially whilst they don't really need anything as of yet. I mean, their needs are pretty good. But I think what will happen is Baglid's gonna go downstairs in the kitchen and make some food. Is that already food there? What? That makes no sense. Well, what if we serve brunch? He served like a fruit salad for everybody. I don't know if they'll eat it. Oh yeah, he's also gonna be mourning some ghosts because I had to like put all the ghosts back into their grave. So they're all in here. Well, at least most of them are. So we've got Peeves or Jeeves over here, like a few professors, but I'm sure that you'll know who they are. They'll probably come out at some point just in the challenge. But yeah, just like as of now, at least we know that it's a thought that counts, just uh, having them around us. This is great. So Grobby, poor Grobby over here, or is it Bobby? I don't know. I really want to call him Grobby though. I think it's such a better name for him. I might, might even change it to be fair. Uh, so he is nearly at the top of his skill. He's nearly at level two, I think, which is fantastic. That means that he can then climb some stairs. And as for Faco, I think that he is still on, oh, hang on, acquired the cooking skill. Okay, so Baglid's just acquired the cooking skill, which we're not too 
sort of worried about right now. What is Tom doing? Okay, so Tom's over here with Briny. We want to get them involved as well though, so if he can just like come over here, just ignore whatever's going on over there and also Briny. Briny can come over here and stack these because I know that what Briny really wants to do is just be over here with Gary. What's Bobby angry at? All blocked out from playing with nesting blocks. Oh no, I think it makes them angry. Oh, but you're so close, Bobby. You're so close. Can you just can you just change your mood for a second though? Because you are so close to movement number two. And if you get there though, if you get there, then you don't have to like crawl around. You can get up to the step. Well, you can like go up and down the stairs. It's gonna be so handy. It really is. So fingers crossed, you can just like make himself get there yes fantastic okay so he's he's not like out the woods yet but he can now climb stairs which is great so maybe he should stop that for a second does he need to do anything let's see what he needs to do attention well maybe he could just like talk to tom babble as he's doing it maybe that'll make sense okay bobby's distracting them i think we've just decided that his name's bobby unfortunately what if bobby Went down to the kitchen now though and like stayed around here. Because that would also get his movement skill up. As far as I'm aware, it's going to be slow. Yes, he can. It's a slow process, but hey, we should get that. Oh, Faco, what's wrong? Oh my goodness, Faco. Where's Faco up to? Movement number two as well. That's fantastic. I'm so proud of you, Faco. <laughs> okay, well, he can just like play with his friends now, I guess. It's really important that Bagley goes and... Uh, make sure that the food Okay, the fruit salad we're going to put it in his inventory and then bring it upstairs Do you understand like how hard this challenge is gonna get from now on though? <laughs> Seriously, it's gonna get pretty pretty challenging. So we've got two things here. Tom can now climb stairs fantastic So they can get around pretty nicely, which is good. I also want Bryony too though. Where you at to, Bryony? Bryony is at two movement. Fantastic. Gosh, this goes up so quickly. Where's Groaning? Okay, Groaning's here. Groaning's gonna stack some things. Stop talking to Bobby. Maybe it's actually like worth him sort of going to the bathroom down here. Did I even put bathrooms down here? I hope I did. No, you're not going down there yet, Grobby. That's for Faco. Faco's gonna go to Slytherin. Oh my gosh. Okay, you're just gonna go upstairs. Okay, so this is going pretty well though. I am very impressed with how this is so far turning out. Why is Tom sad? Tom, why are you sad? I have no idea. Oh, he's tired of blocks. Okay, that's fair enough. Why don't you go and play? Let's see, go and play that. Play dolls. In fact, we'll get Gary to go over with you. Now you may notice that the game is slightly laggy. And I don't know whether that is because of my custom content or I don't know, maybe it's like my computer or something. I don't know if this challenge is possible in Hogwarts because my computer's getting really slow. It's got like so much stuff on at the moment, but I'm going to try. So the boys are going to have a break. They're going to go and play with some dolls. And I think that's, that's going to be a good choice for them. I don't think anybody is like necessarily hungry yet. Thank goodness nobody needs to go to sleep because I think going to sleep is going to be the difficult part. There was a bit of a mix up with... Faco and Gary but I think that they sorted it out so I think Faco's going towards the big bear which is pretty good where's Baglid that's that's a good point where is Baglid you can't be sad Baglid why don't we potty train Tom just because he's there like it makes sense to potty train him whilst he's here it's gonna be difficult though because like I don't know when they're all gonna be able to have Baglid's attention he's not getting attention Okay, I've got an idea, Bobby. You go upstairs. Hang on. This is confusing. <laughs> okay, you go over here. And you talk to Bevel. Then you can have attention. Like, that's social, isn't it? Yeah. Friendly. Hug. But, like, you're going to have to do it by yourself. Because at the moment, it's a bit difficult. I don't know if he's, like, got himself in that chair. If he can get himself out. I don't know if that's a thing. Hopefully it is. Like, hopefully... He can get out of that chair. I, honestly, I don't know what to do with him. I just like have to keep checking on them. So Groaning Turtle also needs tension. Well, why don't you go over there and also hook Bevel? Get out the push chair. Get out the push chair, Bobby. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Why? 
No, this can't happen because the social worker's gonna come. No, this isn't fair. Oh, he's just stuck. Stuck in the chat. Just go there. Go there, Bobby. Okay, so we're gonna get Baglids to have to come and pick Bobby up because he's not getting out the chair. I have no idea how he got himself into the chair in the first place. We're gonna fast forward time a bit. I really hope that the social worker doesn't come. It's getting really difficult now because like my game is a little bit laggy, I guess. I don't think it's because of Hogwarts. I genuinely think it's my computer. Making the sort of trailer for it was really easy. But now like when it comes to sort of where these characters like socialize with each other, it's really laggy. I don't know what it is. Just standing next to him. Okay, so finally, Baglid has got Dobby out of that chair. I don't know what happened. Bobby's now gonna hopefully go and socialize with people, but it's not good. Cause like it's taken him hours to sort of get out of a chair. And I'm just sort of wondering like, is it doable though? <laughs> is this challenge doable? I don't know what to do. So I think now, no, 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 no. Do not, do not pick him up. Yeah, so now like Hagrid's just stuck with him. It's, well, it was on play. So I think that it would make sense for Bobby to go and get attention off somebody. It takes a while for it to like even process the fact that I want them to speak to each other. Like this is taking a while. Honestly, I've never had any issues with The Sims 4 before, like, but this is really laggy. I don't know if it's because I have got like one or two mods in. So I think the lag's starting to improve. I don't know. Cause like when Sims are angry, I can't even click on Fake Hotel Foy until, okay, it just processes it. But he's hungry, so he needs food. But like even me telling him to have food, I can't, I can't even do it. My computer's pretty good. It should be able to handle this. It was perfect for when I was sort of setting everything up. I'm asking Bryony to socialize with Bobby, but she's like not even talking to him. I want him to just praise, just be nice to the kids. Just put down your stupid fruit salad, Maglid, because he's getting on my nerves, he is and just like go and help people. It's not really working out. Like um, even when I'm clicking on Gary, nothing's happening. He's confused. I'm confused. We don't know what's going on. I'm trying, but it's taking ages, ages for the Sims to register what to do. Okay, we're gonna click on Bobby for instance. So I'm trying to get Bobby to be like friendly and hug Bryony, let's just see if it works for a second. I don't know if it's starting to improve. I hope that it is. It's like friendly hug. How long is it taking? Okay, it's taking quite a while. And like, they're all sad. They're all angry. They all want stuff. This is absolutely impossible. Honestly, <laughs> I don't know if there's going to be a part two at this rate. But yeah, I'm definitely going to try. But I think what I'm going to do is I am going to leave it here because I can feel it stressing me out. I want to get this sorted. If there's going to be a part two, it's going to mean that there's going to be no lag in the game or anything like that. Because at this point, it's been really hard for me to get these sims to do what I want them to do. But yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I genuinely hope that I'll find the cause of it and we'll be able to sort it out. And I'll speak to you all soon.